Today I thought I would follow up and make another Titanfall 2 video, since I've been playing quite some since the last week. I usually play as a sniper in most FPS games and I also wanted to come back into Titanfall 2 and do some Kraber sniping once more. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay with some crazy flicks and quickscopes on the go. In many FPS games, sniping is at least for me somewhat the ultimate challenge and, and something also that therefore feels quite rewarding when you're starting to become good at it and getting more consistent kills. Especially when you, like me, are playing aggressive and are challenging yourself by pushing your limits. But playing aggressive with the Kraber Sniper in Titanfall 2 differs quite some compared to many shooters since many of the good players in the game are using the advanced movement patterns and the gadgets such as the grapple hook which makes it even harder to hit these fast moving targets with the sniper. I think it's needless to say that it does help if you have good reflexes overall. And if you gotta go from being decent to become really good at Kraber sniping in Titanfall 2, you'll have to spend quite some time playing in order to master not only the gun itself, but also doing so while wall running and using the grapple hook as an example. That's why I believe that Kraber sniping with that kind of fast movement playstyle is the toughest and hardest way to play the game overall. Add to that also quite low TTK in Titanfall 2. Another weapon I could think of giving you a similar challenge, or at least close to it, might be the Wingman, although it is a handgun and it has a faster fire rate compared to the Kraber Sniper. Yes, the fire rate is slow when it comes to the Kraber Sniper, so usually you might be screwed if you miss your first shot close up, especially if there's a good player on the other end. But even so, when playing Titanfall 2, it's quite rare that I pull out a secondary in this game. Instead, I try to follow up with a no-scope or a flick shot if I can, both for the fun of it and for the overall challenge, which with time will increase my chance or your chance for that sake to get that kill even with the second shot with the sniper. That's a bit of a contrast compared to if I play, let's say, a Battlefield game where the sniper usually doesn't one-shot in the same way as it does here, so I therefore might pull out my secondary after taking my first shot and finish the job. Of course, you should always try to aim high when sniping and get a good habit doing so, aiming for the head whenever you can, but sometimes the situation doesn't allow that, so, well, then you have to pull out your secondary. A good thing when it comes to the Kraber in Titanfall 2 is the fact that it's the first sniper you get in the game, if you consider to try it out. And I do encourage you to do so if you're playing Titanfall 2, even though you might not main as a sniper because I do believe that a majority will still play and stick with the guns such as the CAR, the R97, the R101 and 201 assault rifles, which is almost meta in the game. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to weapons in Titanfall 2. Fighting pilot, your Titan's almost ready. Titan ready. Call it any time, pilot. I'm in a phase now where I can get a good or a decent score using only the Kraber. That's mainly thanks to all hours invested as a sniper in various FPS games through the years. But even so, I still have quite some hours in front of me if I gonna get into god mode with this gun, moving from one level to the next. The question though is if I'm willing to do that or have the motivation to practice to reach that next level, especially with a game that is now 7 years old and also I have to consider that I am a variety FPS content creator here on YouTube so I tend to move between different games on a frequent basis in order to cover them and make new videos. However, it's been a lot of fun to come back into Titanfall 2 overall. It's nice to see that the server issues has been more or less fixed and that they even added some new content after all these years when updating the playlist. And I gotta say that hitting some of the shots you've seen by now in the video with the Kraber is extremely satisfying, so maybe I'll go for some more hours with this hard-hitting sniper in order to become better.
and it might even be a good thing to stay somewhat in shape also in a game such as Titanfall 2 if Respawn Entertainment chooses to announce a Titanfall 3. Wild thought indeed, but who knows? With that said, I would love to hear from you what you think when it comes to sniping in Titanfall 2, especially with the Kraber, if it's something you have tried and what you felt about it, and of course also general thoughts about Titanfall 2 and where we're at right now in 2023. With that said, I want to say thanks for watching, and uh, if you are interested and if you want to watch more content when it comes to various FPS games, you might consider to subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon in another video. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon again. Later.